Jimmy. You're a Jimmy. sixth year. You're a national champion. Oh my gosh, I'm in shock. What emotions still. are you feeling? Blank, because I honestly am just so in shock. There's so much happiness going on inside me. I feel like I could just run around the whole arena and I don't know, start track and field now. But I'm so proud of this team and I, we thrive, like what Kyla said, under pressure. And I think when Chris came in to do his speech, we said, it's athletics, you know? You fight till the very end. And that's exactly what we did. We pulled and worked our butts off for bars and beam. And we just trusted each other. It wasn't the perfect rotation. We had to fall on beam, but you know what? We pulled it together. And that's exactly how Bruins do. We fight till the very end. You got a 10 on your bar routine, which makes the second time you've got a perfect 10 at a super six competition. How did you do that? I honestly was like, everyone is doing so well right now. And I said, I looked at Pula's eyes, she's one of our freshmen, and uh, yesterday I told her I was going to stick it and I didn't. And so she said, we'll try again tomorrow. So I said, okay, Pula, this is for you. She had her flamingo glasses on, she was standing right at the end of bars. And I said, I'm going to stick this thing. And so the whole time, I actually think I smiled in the middle of my bar routine because I was like, okay, if I smile, I'll calm down. So I was just honestly focusing on having fun and enjoying this last moment. Heading into beam, you guys weren't in first place, but it was your best. Of, it's your best event as a team. After Madison made that mistake, did that actually help you do better on beam? I didn't know she made a mistake until she. I saw the score, and so uh, I said, you know what? We'll just have to do, do this the hard way. We have this thing in our gym called Blue Light Special, and that's when we're not having a great day. We're gonna do a bonus round, and so that's exactly what was going on in my head. And I had no idea what kind of score we need. I didn't even know we had a chance at winning. And so at that point, I said, I'm just gonna perform my heart out because this is my last time anyone gets to see my flares. Anyone gets to, you know, when I can perform and do the thing that I love. And so I was just focusing on smiling and doing it for my teams to lift their spirits up. Did you know the score you needed to win was above a 9.95? No. <laughs> I didn't know that and someone told me after the fact and I literally thought the whole arena was cheering so loud because I got a 10 and I was like yay and then I looked at the scoreboard and I my jaw dropped. I said we did it. Oh my god we did it and I literally ran to my team I was like we did it. Like all the hard work, I've been here for six years. This team has been so special. There's something that was so special about this team. We were all so competitive and we knew we were gonna grind until the very end. We didn't know how we were gonna do it, but we did the hard way and we fought. And that's, that's what made all of us so special this year. Finishing your career as a sixth year, doing two perfect routines and being a national champion, was there any better way to end your career? Heck no. <laughs> oh my gosh, I couldn't, have, I couldn't even dream of a better day. I was like, hey, foot national championship, national champion. We're going to be national champions. I wasn't even thinking about, let's get a 10 on bars, let's get a 10 on beam. I was like, okay, just one part at a time. And then I saw those two scores and I am still literally in shock that I just did those two routines for my team because all I was thinking about was having fun and just enjoying the sport. How are you going to celebrate this? I'm going to Disney World tomorrow. <laughs> and are I'm you really? I'm actually. I've been wanting to say that because I was like, guys, it's fate because my parents booked a trip to Disney World and we were <laughs> supposed to go to Hawaii, but we're going to Disney World. And I didn't know that after the Super Bowl, everyone's like, I'm going to Disney World. I said, I'm actually going to Disney World. So I'm going to Disney tomorrow in Florida.